Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, how can I work with geographic distances using Entity Framework Core and SQL Server? Let's break down the issue. Our viewer has a class representing clinics with latitude and longitude properties. They need to return these clinics ordered by distance to a specific point, but they face a challenge with Entity Framework Core's lack of support for the geography type in SQL Server. To tackle this, our viewer has added a geography column to their database and successfully executed a raw SQL query to order clinics by distance. However, they encounter a problem when trying to include related amenities in their query due to the order of operations in Link. In this video, we'll explore how to effectively manage these queries in Entity Framework Core, ensuring that we can retrieve both clinic data and related amenities without running into errors. Let's dive in. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll go through your question, go through the answers for it, and hopefully that brings you to your solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy to get through that solution just like me. And let's get started. To work with geographic distances in Entity Framework Core, we first need to ensure our database has the correct data type. In SQL Server, we can use the geography type to store geographic data. Next, we can retrieve clinics ordered by distance from a specific point using raw SQL queries. Here's how we can declare a geography point and order the clinics based on their distance from it. Now, let's integrate this SQL query into our Entity Framework Core context. We can use the FromSQL method to execute our raw SQL query and retrieve the clinics. However, since we want to include related data, such as amenities, we need to ensure our query structure allows for this. The order of operations matters here. In summary, we can successfully retrieve clinics ordered by distance while including related amenities by carefully structuring our SQL query and using Entity Framework Core's capabilities. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're encountering an error with Entity Framework Core and stored procedures, it might be due to the include operation not being supported. A good workaround is to execute two separate queries. First, load the related data, like amenities, using the load method. Then run a raw SQL query to fetch the clinics based on geographical distance. Here's an example of the raw SQL query. It defines a geography point and selects clinics ordered by their distance from that point. Finally, Use from school to execute the query and retrieve the list of clinics with their amenities. And that's it. I hope it's helped find you to that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please just take a moment, go down, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Well, well, well.